We're here with head coach James Warner of the Wesley women's basketball team. Coach, moving to the Atlantic East Conference after so many years in the Capital Athletic Conference. How are you looking forward to the move? I'm really excited about the move. Um, I was here when we were in the pack, so a lot of those coaches are still around. They're good friends. We stayed in touch. Uh, I'm going to miss the CAC to a point. I'm certainly not going to miss the travel. Uh, as you get older, that bus gets a little bit longer of a ride every time. But it's going to be a very competitive conference with Marymount coming over with us. Cabrini's always a strong team. Gwyneth, Mercy, Newman have both been in NCAA tournaments in the past. And so top to bottom, it's tough. So returning from that good team you had pretty last year, had a couple good wins in the CAC. One of the highlights was the overtime win over Penn State Harrisburg at home uh, and also a victory over St. Mary's also. Um, highlighting the returners, Monche Newsom murray senior guard, and also uh, Shelby Johnson as a, a sophomore forward who's picked up ECAC Rookie of the Week honors before in the past. Uh, tell me how your upperclassmen have been leading away this year. They're great leaders. Uh, we have Stacey O'Neill also with that group, who's a lights out shooter. Uh, Monche and Stacey have kind of taken on the role as captains. Uh, Monche's doing a great job. Uh, both great young ladies, uh, one being military, one halfway through her uh, police exception in Anne Arundel County. So uh, excited for both of them about their futures, but they're, they're focused on basketball. They're great leaders. Uh, and, uh, you know, we just, just got the news that Shelby's cleared to go. So that's exciting. We had her for a little while early, and then we lost her for a little while. But she's the kind of kid, she's wrist injury. She stayed in shape the whole time. So just getting her back into playing basketball right now and uh, going forward with that. So any newcomers or anybody that's kind of flying under the radar looking to make an impact this year? I got a, a mix of newcomers. I had a couple of kids that I'd recruited in the past, and uh, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Brown Merrick, who uh, is locked down defender, great kid, great attitude. Uh, and then I also have Jamisha Baker, who came in as a freshman last year. Life wasn't going her way at that time, so uh, she opted out of basketball, but she's came back. She's struggling, uh, not struggling, excuse me, fighting for a uh, starting position and really helping the team out. And then three extremely talented freshmen, uh, Sydney Peterson, a local girl from uh, Cape and Lopen High School, Angelique Gathers out of New Jersey, and um, Lauren Adams out of uh, the Baltimore area, uh, who are all bring special talents that you know, one of the better refreshment recruiting classes I've had come in. So let's talk about a little bit of your non-conference schedule. So your guys starting off the season a little early this year with the new rule, the NCAA passing the legislation over the summer to kind of move up this basketball season a little bit. You guys opened up with Big Daniel at home, and then uh, next weekend you're going to Masai. Uh, can you talk about any of the, the kind of non-conference uh, slate a little bit? It, it was tough coming up with a non-conference schedule. Uh, we went from where we had to find seven games to all of a sudden we had to find 13 games. So it, it's a mixed bag, uh, but it's a good bag. Uh, I like the early start. I have Shelby uh, and also Manche who are military. And I've had some – military has been good to me. I've had some ex-players that were military also. So we're opening up against McDaniel and some military appreciation game. Um, you know, right around Veterans Day works perfect. Um, you know, so hopefully getting a lot of those people out just so we can say thank you and give them a little something different besides what the life is with right now and some basketball. Uh, so I like the early start for that because that's something we'd like to grow on, at, you know, in the future with being so close to Veterans Day, having that early start. Uh, picking up Masai, I'm excited, but they're uh, like a number five, top five team in the nation type team. But, you know, to ever achieve your dreams, you, you know, you got to go out. you got to realize quick, we don't have a Division One on the schedule this year. So we're playing the top at our level, you know, and, and kind of getting an early taste of where we got to go. Thanks for taking the time, Coach, and have good luck this season. Thank you very much.